Finally, a bed on the market which you can blame for the wind coming from your bivvy because this self inflates itself. The mattress itself, very unique. Instead of using a foam sort of system, this inflates. You just release the valve at the top end and it inflates itself. So when you get to your swim, open up the bed, release the valve, give it a couple of minutes and it will fully inflate. And then you close the valve and you're sorted. If, like me, you like a slightly firmer mattress then, uh, and, and you've left it a few minutes, you want a bit firmer, all I've done last night is I just did a few puffs of air through it myself just to give it that extra bit of uh, rigidity, just because I like a nice firm mattress. So you can really customize this uh, mattress to exactly what suits you, and it can be accessed from both the top end and the bottom end. So should the worst happen where accidentally a bait needle goes through it and you've got a slow puncture, you can access the mattress, patch it up, absolutely no issues. So why have an air mattress, some of you may be saying, because there's nothing wrong with foam, surely. Firstly, it's much lighter. Because this packs down small as well, the air releases from itself. The mattress doesn't weigh very much at all, but once it's inflated, it has all the same properties pretty much as a foam mattress would. But also it offers some thermal properties because there's a pocket of air then between you and underneath the bed chair, which you can warm up with your body heat, gives you a nice layer of warmth. So instead of uh, foam, which doesn't really have that sort of capabilities, this gives you that extra warmth beneath you. At the top end of the mattress, we have a low profile neoprene pillow. So it's not ultra raised if you're someone that doesn't like having a pillow on you, it doesn't matter. But it just gives you that little bit of extra support on your head end and really springy sort of, uh, of padding on the inside. So that's gonna spring back, keep its shape and rigidity for a very, very long time. And talking of padding, around the outside, we've got a uh, camo finished perimeter, which is actually very, very large. It sticks over the sides of the frame massively. So although it looks like quite a wide bed chair, and it is, it gives you a lot of cover, the frame is actually a good four or five inches probably recessed from the uh, exterior pattern which is very very thick pattern as well so if you were to roll over in the night you're completely covered from that and it just gives you that extra bit of space without being uh, extra bulky with the frame now it's just starting to rain so uh, i'm going to try and rattle through the rest of these things as quick as possible we flip to the underside we can see we've got a uh, lightweight aluminium frame which in conjunction with the air mattress means that this doesn't really weigh very much at all the one i've got with me today i think is about ten and a half kilos and the extra large version is about 12 and a half kilos. Now to attach the actual bed to the frame, it's used elastic all the way around. So you've got that a bit of elasticity around the whole bed, but because of the mattress being inflated, it gives it that rigidity all the way across and there's no sagging points. And I, someone that uh, suffers with a bad back, I really need the support at night. I did the whole night in this and uh, quite a long stint of this morning because it's so comfortable and it just kept me nice and rigid and straight. But like I said earlier, if you want to deflate the mattress ever so slightly, give you a bit more spongy and a bit more of a, a sagging as it were, then you can do that. Really can customize this to your own needs. Now all three legs are uh, fixed into place with little sort of a, a clips or little rods that clip into place. Once you've put them into position, a little spring-loaded push rod goes into the mainframe and locks the legs into position. To fold them back, you just pull that little uh, knob out and then fold the legs flat. So there's no risk of pushing the bed chair around on the bank. Those legs will not fold in. At the bottom of the legs, you've got fully adjustable mud feet. So you just flick up the switch to release the leg extend the legs and then lock it back off and you've got full 360 rotating large mud feet which at the moment with all the rain we've had this bank believe me is very soggy my feet are starting to sink into it and uh, it's just not going to sink anywhere another little feature that current spirit have thought of is on the very underside of the bed chair itself now this has a built-in retaining strap so once you folded this all up released the air and got as much air out of it as possible you attach that uh, clip strap pull it tight and just holds it all together so when in transit you can carry it around no risk of the legs coming undone or everything unfolding but when that clip isn't in use that strap sorry you uh, wrap it up and tuck it into a little pocket which is a zip pocket at the very underside base of this so you can put all that in there it's not going to be dangling around in your bed chair getting caught in your bags or whatever you're putting under your bed chair keeps it nice and neat and it's big enough to put any other valuables in that you don't want quick access to and you don't need on your long trip say if you've gone abroad you want to put valuables that you don't want to lose but don't want uh, anyone else to find like your passport your wallet your keys something like that you can stick them in there and rest assured they're not going to be uh, taken by anyone another neat little feature on either side of the bed chair is a, uh, a nice soft padded handle on either side so once this is all folded up you lift it up and carry it that makes it so much easier getting the bed chair in and out of your car moving it around on the bank getting it into your bed chair without having to hold on to part of the frame or one of the legs where the legs could come open or whatever this makes it so much easier and with the lightweightness of this at ten and a half kilos like i said it just makes it so easy to carry around 
And lastly, and probably one of the most obvious features is how flat this thing folds out. It's a little bit raised this end at the moment, just because uh, I haven't adjusted all the legs perfectly for the ground, but that's mainly thanks to the large double hinges that you've got. So if I fold that down, it's gonna be a little bit of resistance because I've got the mattress still fully inflated. As you can see, very large double hinges on there. So there's no need to take the sleeping bag off each time. I've only done that today, obviously for uh, demonstration purposes of the bed chair. Now prices come in as follows. There's two available in this airline range. You've got the standard, which I've got with me today, and the extra large. Standard comes in at 229.99 RRP, and the XL comes in at 259.99 RRP. So for more information on these beds, or to pick one up, or to have a look at the sleeping bag, which I reviewed last month, go back and watch that. But uh, that's it from me for now. So cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.